Hello friends, this is Shilpi and today I am going to show you how to make garlic bread rolls on pan. So if you don't have oven or you don't want to use your oven, this is the right recipe for you. So let's make it. To make garlic bread, first we will make a dough. For this here I have half cup of warm water. To this I will add half teaspoon of instant yeast, one tablespoon of sugar and mix well. I let it rest for 2 to 3 minutes or till you can see forth like this. Now I'll add 2 tablespoon of olive oil or you can also use any other cooking oil, 3-4 teaspoon of salt and mix everything. Now I'll add 2 cups of all purpose flour or maida and I'll attach the hook and mix the flour for some time. And now I'll add remaining one fourth cup of water and knead smooth, soft and elastic dough. Here I put my mixer on number two setting as I want this dough should get air pockets. If you are making this dough with hands, you have to knead it for at least eight to 10 minutes. Now I'll take some flour in my hand and knead the dough little bit with my hands. and tuck the dough inside like this and to check if the dough is ready just make an impression on the dough with your finger and it should bounce back like this it means dough is ready I'll cover the bowl with the plastic wrap and let it rest for 2-3 hours in a warm place or till it doubles in volume in the meanwhile let's make garlic butter for this here I have 3 teaspoon of crushed garlic in a bowl to this I'll add 2 tablespoon of unsalted butter which is at room temperature. I'll also add half teaspoon each of oregano and herb mix, some salt and pepper powder. If you like spicy you can add chili flakes at this time. Now I'll mix the butter so everything mingles together. It's about 2 hours and now let's check our dough and you can see it has already become double in volume. I'll spread some dry flour on my work surface and take out the dough over it. I'll punch the dough a little bit and now I'll take half of the dough and make it little smooth. I'll roll it with my rolling pin to a big circle like this. It does not have to be proper circle as we are going to roll it again later. Now to this rolled dough, I'll apply generous amount of garlic butter which we prepared earlier. And now I'll hold it from one side and make a tight roll like this. I'll cut it in 1 inch pieces and spread them little bit like this and now I'll take my cast iron pan and apply few drops of oil on it and spread it everywhere with a paper towel so that rolls do not stick on the pan while cooking. Now I'll put the rolls on the pan little apart from each other so that they get enough space to rise. I'll cover it with the lid and let it rest in warm place for almost one and a half to two hours or till they are double in size again. It's about one and a half hour. You can see they have risen up well. Now I'll wrap the lid with cotton cloth or towel so that steam water does not fall on the rolls while cooking. And now let's cook these delicious rolls. For this I will put them on very low heat and cover the pan and cook them for about 10 to 11 minutes. Here it is very important that you use heavy bottom pan to cook these rolls otherwise they will get burned from bottom. It's about 11 minutes. Rolls are cooked from one side. I'll take them out 
and put them again on the pan other side down. You can see how well they are cooked from this side. And now I'll cover them again and let them cook just for 4 to 5 minutes. Keep an eye as they cook very fast. It's about 5 minutes. Let's check the rolls. And you can see they are fully cooked golden brown from both the sides. I'll switch off the heat and apply some more garlic butter on top. And I'll sprinkle some chili flakes. And I'll also sprinkle some fine chopped parsley or coriander leaves. Hot fresh garlic bread rolls are ready to serve. For more quick and easy recipes, you can visit my blog www.foodsandflavorsbyshilpi.com or you can also visit my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe it. Thanks for watching today's video. See you next time. Till then, happy cooking.